everyone, KK here. I hope you all are doing well today. Um, I wanted to share with you all a haul that I've purchased this past week. But um, before I get started, I wanted to remind you all that if you haven't entered my 50 subbies challenge, um, I would love for you to do that. It's going to be ending tomorrow night. So just a little bit of time for you to get that in. And if you have entered, again, this is the prize that you will be winning if your name is selected. And um, it's the Fact and Fiction 6x6 six six pads as well as a few embellishments to go along with that. So um, again, if you haven't entered and you'd like to, please do. I'd love to see what you come up with. All right. So let's move this out of the way and we will get started with the haul. So the first place I went was Joann's and this past weekend they had their cardstock on sale for like $1.99 I believe and if you watched my last video you remember that I said that I was out of white cardstock. So I purchased the 12 by 12 um, pack of cardstock as well as an 8.5 by 11 of white cardstock and I usually don't buy packs like this. I prefer to buy the individual paper just because I feel like the quality is better but when it comes to white I mostly use it for layering so I don't mind it, um, it being a bit thinner. I also purchased another pack of these Nikki Ricky stickers in the yellow. Um, I quite like yellow stickers but I find that I go through them rather quickly so I always like to have a backup. I also purchased these embellishments from um, the Kathy Davis line, which I'm really not interested in that line at all. It's not really my taste, but they did have these enamel dots, so um, I picked those up. And actually, at my Joann's, if you wait to buy something, it will be gone. And so I think I'm really going to like these, so I went ahead and bought three of them because, again, once I got to the end of the first pack, they were you know, buying them again would not be an option because there would be none left. So I went ahead and bought three of them. They also had them in this color scheme and I only picked up one of those just because that's not typically colors that I used to scrap with. But I thought I could use them on cards and um, stuff like that. So I picked those up. I picked up some craft reclosable um, bags just because if you want to do a rack or something like that, you have um, these bags to put the embellishments in so they're not just floating around or anything like that. And lastly, I purchased these wooden tags. Um, so I purchased them in two different sizes. This one's small and this one's large. I don't know if you can see those. And um, there's 12 in here and there are 8 in here. They're the larger ones. So they're just wood and um, I thought they would be great to, you know, put on a layout or even to stamp on and tie them around a gift that you were giving for someone's birthday or something like that. So that's what I got at Joann's. Moving on to Michael's. Um, the first thing that I purchased at Michael's, I noticed that they had the snap line, which I was not aware that they carried. But um, I went ahead and picked up a 6x6 from that line. And it's just the chevrons and the polka dots, which I thought was very basic, so it would go with anything. And I also picked up these label stickers. Oops, these label stickers from that line, and you can see there how they come. Sorry, the light gets kind of crazy, but just the label stickers from that line. I also picked up the Summer Fresh 6x6 from Simple Stories, and I hadn't, I've seen it, but I hadn't purchased it, so I thought that that would be good for cards this summer. Um, I also picked up these photo frames from recollections. They're like the little Instagram frames, so I thought those were good. And I don't remember how much these were, but I remember them being quite a bit less expensive than the Heidi Swap ones that I have um, that I purchased as well. But I like those. And then I repurchased this stamp. I had purchased it once, and um, I gave it to someone. So they had it in the 50 cent bin, and um, I went ahead and purchased that because they had, again, everything was 50 cents because they were clearancing out a lot of stuff. And lastly, I purchased two more Spellbinders Nestability sets from Michaels. And um, I'm going to move this over. 
I purchased the petite scalloped circles and I think I already have some scalloped circles but I thought that I would purchase these as well and um, I also purchased the classic scalloped squares and these two were on sale they were I believe eleven dollars and change so twelve dollars let's say so I thought that was a really great deal because that's basically half off of the normal price if not more because some of them are twenty nine ninety nine so I thought that was a good deal and um, I don't have an electronic die cutter I used to but I have sold it and got rid of it just because it was a bit cumbersome to pull out and mess with and um, to have like you know the computer and it, it was just a mess so I would rather just use a manual die cut machine like my cuddle bug which works fantastic for me because I don't use it really that often to begin with so I hope that building up my stash of dies will you know increase my um, desire to use it so that's what I'm hoping anyway <laughs> so that was my Michaels haul and I also bought a few things for um, an upcoming giveaway and um, you'll have to watch out for those things so so overall, I feel like I got some really good deals. So thank you for watching today, and I hope that you have a fabulous day. And again, enter the giveaway if you um, feel compelled to. And um, I will talk to you guys again soon, and have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.